We are backstage with the season 10 contestants. Don't you know Kate looked lost on the dance floor and around 22.6 million tuned in to see her not-so-jumping jive and her meltdown after partner Tony walked out on her in rehearsal. I'm done. I'm done today. I don't get it. It was like such a shocking reaction to something that I didn't even feel like was a fight. And when he walked out, I knew he'd be back. They were the last couple to perform but it just wasn't their night. You go kind of through the motion like a step for wife. Okay, so I forgot half my steps. The fact that I didn't fall is still truly amazing. Kate had one thing to celebrate, her birthday. They did brownies and ice cream for breakfast. But she's towards the back at 40 to 1. Like, I just want to learn. Like, like, show me so I can get it. Could it be Kate's dancing days numbered? I'm done. I'm done today. I don't get it. I didn't realize it was this much drama and dancing with the stars. I didn't either. 22.6 million viewers watch Kate's new dance drama unfold. Can you just show me? We don't have enough time. I'm not stressed. Really? Then why don't you start paying attention to my teaching then? I think it was like 30 seconds of, of There's something that... There's no inside that, story because yeah. you saw it all. You That's saw it all. all. I mean, it was stretched to like pieces. We uh, <laughs> we had such an incredible week that it's, it'd be a shame to focus on those 30 seconds. And I will never quit on her. And she didn't quit either, performing The Jive. You turned it into a nightmare! What did you think of that whole Kate Goslin drama? You know, we just try to stay focused on what we're doing. A lot of people had a lot of conflicts this week, and I'm like... I mean, how hard is it to talk to a man? But who gets the dancing boot tonight on ABC? Well, if you look at the scoreboard, it appears Buzz, Aiden, Chad, and Kate seem most at risk. I've had zero dance experience. <laughs> so he's making me into a dancer, but I have no history there. Can you just show me? We don't have enough time. I'm not stressed. The ESPN reporter also defending fellow dancer Kate Goslin's mini meltdown on last night's show. What's going on with Kate tonight and her partner? What's all um, about? I don't, we just had dinner with Kate, so I don't really think there's any drama with her. While Kate's in LA, her ex, John, is on daddy duty in Pennsylvania. Backpacks in hand, new photos show him picking up his kids as they get off the school bus. 59% of you think the end might be near for Kate's dancing career, but 41% say, Kate, stick with it, keep in the game. Those numbers can change as more votes come in, but for now, the insider viewers have spoken. Bruno called her a shopping cart, and her own partner threatened to quit, but is dancing with the stars, Kate Goslin, still great Kate with her fans. Kate and Tony. Their dancing may have earned fairly low scores from the judges and a rolling of the eyes from Kate, but for now, her fans have kept her in the running. That brought a sigh of relief. Oh, my gosh, that is just pure torture, is it not? The next couple who will return. As couple after couple was voted through to safety, Kate and Tony had to stand there waiting to learn if they fell into the bottom two. Still safe? to dance again are... When we were put up there with three couples, I turned to him, I said, get ready, it's us. And I was like, do you have tissues? He goes, why are you gonna cry? I said, yeah, either way I'm gonna cry. I don't think I breathed for 10 minutes and I don't think that's humanly possible. And I also felt like I was gonna throw up there at the end. So I'm glad that I can fly home on the plane tonight and, and rest easy and we can start fresh tomorrow. At its peak, 10.6 million people were tuning in to John and Kate Plus 8, and Entertainment Weekly's Dalton Ross says their dedication is what can keep Kate going. Yeah, well, and the scores are part of it, but the fan voting is, is the other part, and, and fans are going to vote for who they want to vote for. But even if those fans stay loyal, Kate wants to get those judges behind her, too. So let's face it, my dancing does need a lot of work. I'm the first one to admit it, and I need to face my fears, and I don't want to go home before I conquer this challenge or before my kids get to watch me and eat popcorn. A few more weeks, a lot of more weeks. I'm done. I'm done today. For now, it seems she has survived that rehearsal meltdown. But watching it play out on TV had its impact. It's the behind the scenes stress. I know Tony's very upset, but my skin is about 50 miles thick. So I'm like, while I'm not happy about it, it, it just shows the true pressure behind the scenes. I've got eight kids I'm handling at the same time as dancing with all of the responsibilities. 
responsibility that goes with it. It was a weak moment that I wish I could take back, but I let a weak moment get to me. You can't quit. I don't get it. We have issues, so while we hope that that never happens again, it just made us stronger and we're going forward. Her jittery jive now behind her, Kate and Tony are working on a pasta doble for Monday on ABC's Dancing with the Stars. The teams will all have to tell a story with their dances, and Kate promises to tell a good one. Our next week is so the story of my last year of life, and we are so excited about this dance. Like, we have been talking about this for weeks. Please keep voting. Everybody vote for us because it's what's keeping us alive. <laughs> We have more with Kate tomorrow, but the mom of eight tells us she is taking a little time away from her grueling rehearsal schedule to have an Easter egg hunt with her children this weekend. Kate struggling for fans. How can I put this really nicely, Tony? We really need the votes. But in the end, no one saw this coming. Shannon and Mark. None of my kids ever got eliminated on my show, and so, and neither did I, actually. John Stamos, sitting in with the Beach Boys, watched all the dancing madness unfold. There was fighting and, and sexual <laughs> hookups and really? fake tans and sequins. Oh, this on. is my kind of show. Fake tans? It could be anybody. Fighting, though? That was definitely Kate and Tony. I'm done today. Now when you have an argument, how are you going to deal with it? I'm going to go back to the being the husband, like I am with my wife. I'm going to be like this. Yes, honey. <laughs> and for the record, I don't need a husband. See who delivers what next Monday. There it is, jumbled in all its glory. Kate Goslin lives to dance another day after this week's Dancing with the Stars competition, which had some people scratching their heads. So just how popular is Kate? Take a look. I think the thing that was proved in this situation is the fact that viewers' votes count. Yes, Kate may not rate well with the judges, but even after that on-screen meltdown, her fans won't count her out. Please keep voting. Nearly 11 million of them watched her every move at the peak of John and Kate Plus 8. She may have changed channels, but those fans have followed. I think lover or hater, Kate does have a very strong personality. She makes no apologies for the fact that she knows what she wants and she's a real fighter for what she wants. Oh, bless her. I mean, she's having a hard time. Even her harshest critics understand why she is still on the dance floor. She's very, very brave. Very, very brave to do it. And people appreciate that. At People, where the new issue is due out tomorrow, they have seen that appreciation. A lot of comments are from moms, and moms are really rooting for her because she is basically doing what they want to do. Moms want to go out and challenge themselves beyond just taking care of the children and taking care of the household chores. How are all the kids? Yeah. They're good. Those moms and their kids have made her first two books, Multiple Blessings and Eight Little Faces, New York Times bestsellers. Her third, I Just Want You To Know, is about to come out. Hello. I am like your biggest fan. I'm so excited. Hello, biggest fan. And Bruno says if she wants to keep her dancing dream going past next week, she should channel her emotion from that tip with Tony. Well, why don't I see that on the dance floor? And even if those fans can't keep her dancing, TV is still in her future. TLC, where it all started, is developing another show for her. She's really living a mom's dream right now. Tony tackle the pasta doble next Monday night on ABC. Now, something Kate knows all about, being followed by paparazzi cameras. Mark has the story of stars under siege. Things changed for reality stars John and Kate once their marriage melted down. They were used to cameras in their face, but they got more than they bargained for. When you first get paparazzi, you're like, okay, this is crazy. And then when it continues and they're following you, you're, you are paranoid. You're looking around, you know, and you're thinking to yourself, why am I paranoid? I'm not hiding anything. One star gone. Shannon and Mark. And Kate's diva breakdown. I'm done. I'm done today. What can we expect next? I don't get it. Bradley Jacobs from Us Weekly on Stands Now breaks it down. Kate Gosselin has not shown any good dancing yet. I would venture to say she'll probably not make it past the midpoint of the series. So who knows what will happen next week.